Welcome, Game and Trade fans. We got back our first submissions for the CGC graded cards. I've seen the grades online, so there are no perfect tens in this. Sorry to spoil it for you, but these are the ones from our original uh, unboxing the ETB Vivid Voltage when I first got back into it. Did they put them all in one? I'm excited and all at the same time displeased because this is before I knew what I was doing. I sent in basically a bunch of. I mean, there's some good ones in here. Our Lugia Neo Genesis is in here. And, of course, the Secret Rare Full Art Trainer. Ta-da, there they are. That is a great batch. I wonder what this one is that they left over here sitting alone. Their Manitan V. All right, so I'm gonna go through these kind of quick. And then we're gonna put them in plastic. And some of these are gonna be up for sale and definitely at our conventions. Looks like they put them consecutively. There's our receipt, our invoice. All right, first one, Full Art Trainer Secret Rare V 9.5. They're a little dusty, I wish they would do something a little more to protect them, but still. Full Art Trainer. Watch out. 9.5 Rayquaza Amazing Rare. That was our first Amazing Rare. Love it. Isn't that cool? Alright. 9.5 Celebi Amazing Rare. And just really shiny. I'm loving this. Like I said, I'm going to go through these kind of quick. Orbital V Max. There's our UFO. I don't quite understand why some of these didn't get a 10. I still have a feeling that it's political, but I'm just gonna leave that where it's at. Uh, there's our MewTube. I love that artwork. I'm def I'm sure that the centering, it looks a little higher on the top than it does on the bottom. The back looks great though. I'm actually kind of hurt that it got an eight, but that that is that is going in the collection. I'm gonna I'm gonna put that right next to B. All right, this is where it gets kind of low, but there's some original cards. Flareon Jungle Unlimited Holographic 6.5. There's some lightning on the card and everything, but still, this should be a pretty valuable card. Yes, I can understand why I got a 6.5, but still, one of the evolutions. That is that is definitely going to make one lucky collector. Brock's Nine Tails 5.5. This is still more of a high-end card. I guess the back definitely looks kind of like style, but still, first edition, Brock's Nine Tails. That, that should fetch a pretty penny. I wish I'd gotten higher than a excellent plus. Excellent name that, yeah, that must be when they're grading the actual hollow. Here we go, Lugia. Neo Genesis. Now it definitely only got a five, but still, this is a pretty epic card. And it got a five because there is a gnarly crease across it here. But even based on the condition, that should go for a little bit. I don't see any huge swirls on the hologram, but take a closer look at that later. All right. Gyarados. They set to, I knew this was in terrible shape, but still 3.5 just to preserve what it is. All right, and then our full art trainer, Nessa. Now that is a very pretty card. Uh, I, I still don't quite understand why I didn't get a 10 on some of these, I guess to keep the population low. But those were our first secret rare trainers that we got in. I'm happy about those. Those are nice. Those are nice. All right, I won't, I won't, I'll just do this really quick. Those are the main ones I'm excited about. I submitted a bunch of stuff where I knew what I was doing. Zarud V95, uh, Lugia. Now that one, that is a good one. Lugia, Hologram, Vivid Voltage. It's in grade nine. So I'll put that next to our Neo Genesis. Those are very shiny. There on that lunchbox. 
All right, Pikachu V. Of course, everyone loves Pikachu. That's a crowd pleaser. DNC hologram. We got Drapion V. We got Alolan Meowth. I think this one I submitted some of the McDonald's collections that Parker and I unboxed or unpacked with the toys. The cutie fly got an eight. I don't, I don't quite get it, but still, there's a McDonald's sets from our video. I kept the other two. The cutie fly got an eight. I like the Cosmog. He's a little galaxy creature. Those are good. That's from our McD stuff. We got our Gardevoir GX. Our Charmeleon Reverse Hollow. That got a 9.5. That's a good one. Um, still, no perfect tones in this set. I guess we have to do a little, we have to try a little harder. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna set those two here. All right, there's DNC Hollow and Reverse Hollow. We'll put those together. We're gonna bag all these. Vaporeon, another Evolution Reverse Hollow. Flareon, Reverse Hollow. I don't guess I'd put a Jolteon in there. All right, there's for your Evolutions. There's, there's, I'm put that next to our Flareon over here. Aegislash, Aegislash. Duraliodon, I just thought he was a legendary creature. Genesect, Hollow. All right, there's Beauty, not not the full art. I've submitted more full arts, but Reverse Hollow Beauty. I said, I, I submitted some of these, I guess just as filler and crowd pleaser. Um, cannon fodder for the conventions. Uh, reverse Hollow, Glarian Meow. We got Regirock, Hologram. Coating Metal Energy. Always like the way those look. Lucario, Reverse Hollow. There's our Snorlax Hologram. Uh, that makes somebody happy. Right. We're getting there, but this is the first submission. Hopefully, it's a lot better next time. Electros Reverse Hollow. There's our Electrode Hologram. Got a nine. I guess for centering. I mean, the back looks immaculate. So, I suppose for centering. Reverse Hollow Alistair. Uh oh, reverse hollow. That's from Lost Thunder. Got a nine. All right, here we go. Zapdos, Moltres, Articuno. These are from the 2018 collector chest. Moltres, the only one, didn't get a full eight and a half. But um, these were these were from someone's collection, so they. Not exactly like pack fresh. This one's centering, I guess, would be why it was off. But there's there's the legendary birds. Set of three. We I think we have another set of three to send in. Dragonair. I just like all the dragons. This one's not even holographic. I guess I just sent that one in because I like that card. Centering's off. I said this is before I knew what I was doing. Dragonair, Dratini. That one's from the McD's Confetti Hollow 6.5. That's in terrible shape. Maybe that got damaged in shipping. Honestly, they were kind about some of it because these weren't even in top loaders. This one, right when the popularity hit and everybody was out of top loaders. So I just put them in really nice card protectors and cardboard in between. Skiddo Reverse Hollow is from Breakthrough. Crimson Invasion Regigus. Reg Red gig gig us. Uh, centering's off, but it's still a really cool looking hollow. Eight and a half. Not bad, it's from an older set. Dragonite, reverse hollow. That's a good one, actually. Sun and moon, base set. Well, base, sun and moon. It's nearly miscut right here. Uh, eight and a half. Dragonite, we got a Cobalion, Reverse Hollow. We got a Wobbuffet, Reverse Hollow from Burning Shadows. And that, well, let I me, mean, the Galarian Darmanitan, that's from Vivid Voltage 9. They'd set him over here by himself. And then I finished it out with this Observatory, the Chromatic Armory, Magic the Gathering, 9-5. It's a rare, I still don't, 
why I don't understand why that wouldn't have got a perfect 10, but I know, maybe I gotta try a little harder. Uh, thanks for tuning in. This and more like it on the way. I promise to have a little bit more quality. Some of these are cannon fodder, and then some of these are definitely going in the personal collection. Very happy about that. Right. Signing off. Y'all stay tuned for more.